it was not you who cho chose me, but I who chose you. This is the message today that the Lord is telling us today through this beautiful passage from St. John chapter 15, 9, 17. Jesus Christ reminds us that the Father take the initiative and call us through Him in order to be back to Him. How? Through the Holy Spirit. And that's why our answer have to, has to be in freedom. And especially, we need to make a discernment according to the qualities, the virtues, even the different kinds of formation that we have, what kind of mission that you have in life, what kind of vocation, and in other words, in order to answer that calling. God is calling us today and remind us, you as a, a part of me, I call you to bring you happiness, and especially you are responsible for your own happiness. I call you through my son to be conscious about this statement. God call us through his son in order to remind us that he wants for us happiness. In another words, life. In another words, love. In another words, even fraternity, communion, service. And another word is to create unity and the diversity that the the, uh, the diversity of, of of people, because everyone is unique, unique, but at the same time everyone can work in together. That's the calling. And who is who is the person who is going to help us? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is invite us constantly in order to create this beautiful environment. That's why even from uh, San John Chrysostomo invited us in his homily number third, no, no, uh, versicles 1, 2, and 3, and page 56, 23, 26, and 28. He made this. Make known to us, Lord, the one you choose. In those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, At the fiery spirit, to whom the flock was entrusted by Christ and as the leader in the band of the, of the apostles. Peter always took the initiative and in speaking, my brothers, we must choose from among you number. He left the decision to the whole body, at once argu argumenting the honor of those elected and avoiding any suspicious or par particularity. For size great occasions can easily lead to trouble. You know, brothers and sisters, today Mat San Matthias does the calling, does the feast that we are going to celebrate today. How the disciples, after Jesus rise and back to heaven, the disciples have to make a discernment. Who is the person who is going to take the place from Judas Iscariot? And this is the discernment. You know, we need to take our own place and this beautiful process in order to be part of this vocation as a Christians. We have a calling, and this is the first exhortation. Do you become aware about your calling? Because one is your profession and another one is your calling. Calling is, is a vocari, came from Latin, and God take the initiative. How God is take the initiative? He infuses insight in our hearts his, his spirit. And that's why it's so important to be aware about this beautiful moment in our lives. And Concepcion Cabrera reminds us this about the Holy Spirit. There is exists a hiding treasure, a wealthy remaining and es exploited and in no way, and appreciated at this true word, which is nevertheless that which is the greatest in heaven and on earth. The Holy Spirit the world of souls itself does not, not know him as the as it should. Today, God reminds us through St. Matthias, if you are going to make a discernment in your life, call the Holy Spirit. If you call the Holy Spirit, you are going to receive the knowledge and the strength, the courage, but also a new alignment. Because the Holy Spirit has also, the goal is to respect your process, to respect you as a person, to respect you even 
your own mission and that's why he's when the moment that you call the holy spirit the holy spirit is, is going to come to you and say do you need me how can i help you i am so happy to call me because i can enlighten you and that's the beauty of of, of calling that's why you know when the disciples try to choose the another person what happened with the the first community of, uh, of the apostles and, and, and the Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 according to St. Luke to versicles 15 to 17 they became aware about that they need to make a new discernment and what happened they asked to the Holy Spirit they pray to the Holy Spirit in other words they start talking say Holy Spirit we need to speak to you could you help us with your knowledge who is the new person who is going to take the place from Judas Iscariot and who is the person and this is important that we need to consider it you know why because we always have two good choices and we need to choose the best choice St. Thomas Aquinas reminds us this every moment is a moment of discernment but also you need to choose the best of the best and that's important to all of us not according to the human condition or according to your own feelings emotions or according to your intellect according to your lo lo logical or according to your common sense no according to the holy spirit and this is the differences you know why sometimes we have some mistakes because we use too much our sense our feelings our intellect and sometimes just yes, we block over there we don't ask the Holy Spirit say after I already my discernment according to my common sense my intellect my emotions and my physical sense say I am going to do this and sometimes you need to apply another movement you need to ask our Lord to say according to me this is the things that i need to do but according to the holy spirit and that's the moment that you need to say lord could you help me to be part of this process i need your help i need you you your alignment could you help me and the holy spirit let me tell you the truth he is going to help you he is going to enlighten you but he needs the time after that you make the discernment and this is why Concepcion Cabrera reminds us, and Jesus said, if you call the person who helped me in my discernment, and even he helped me to fulfill my special mission that I had on earth, was the Holy Spirit. Jesus talked to Concepcion and remind us that it is important, brothers and sisters, to ask for help to ask for, for guidance because the Holy Spirit is a good GPS to all of us. As a good GPS, he always recalculates this fragment, all the traffic that we have in our intellect, according to the, all the ideas that yes, we have, according to the, even he this fragment our hearts, according to all the emotions and passions and, and even different kinds of uh, desires, and then he's going to this fragment our own common sense as well as the five senses that we have physically why because the holy spirit is going to enlighten us with the truth what is the truth for you no according to your feelings i feel that this is the truth or sometimes we we think this is the truth and the truth is freedom according to this process bring your happiness kindness love peace harmony unity respect even you feel that you are who you are if not this is something that you need to consider before you make the decision why because the holy spirit is not against our own nature it helps our nature and this is the one of the profound gifts that we receive in the sermon the holy spirit is always help us to make the discernment about the three different spirits that we can choose 
the human spirit, the bad spirit, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is always there. But sometimes, like Jesus said to Concepcion, sometimes we don't call and we don't ask for help. Why? Because we want to make the decisions. And you are going to make the decisions, but it's different when you receive the enlightenment to the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is always help you to see all the context. Even at the beginning, doesn't like it, the decisions. But later, you enjoy it. Let me tell you the example. In this first point, you know, when I decided to, to, to came to USA, I have my mind say, my goal, I am going to, 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 to USA and work in six months and back and got married. And what happened? After three, three months, thanks be to God, everything passed by, uh, by and, and, and I don't have any problem. And the moment that I just traveling from Mexico to USA, I have all the requirements and as well as all the permissions. And even I have job and, and people who welcome me here. I am so happy about that. But what happened? I just working so hard in many different places. I was working in Portland, the Dells. I was working in Meresville and Yubasire. I was working in Santa Rosa and Modesto, Manteca. And after four months, say, I almost finished my goal. And what happened? God switched me and I received a letter from my girlfriend say, you know, I am so young, I need to take time and I need to spend more time in discernment. And for me, it was like when you, I don't know, you see a, a good fighters. It's like when you, uh, when uh, one of the fighters hit him and the and the and the and the and the, and the, and the, and the liver, boom, and the person fall down. And for me, it was it was the experience, really, it was a very knockout to say what happened to to me, and that's the moment to say the Holy Spirit call me to do something different. I love too much, and that's why, because I love, I need to give the freedom. And say, well, I am suffering, I don't like this, but you decided to do this, you are free to continually to do it the way you decided. And I spent two years in silence, in meditation and contemplation, in working so hard. And that's the time the time that the Lord is used it in order just to tell us something different. Why? The Holy Spirit is the light of intellects and the fire which enkindles hearts. If there is indifferences, coldness, weakness, and so many other evils which afflict the spiritual world and even my church, Jesus said to Concepcion, it is because the recourses is not had to the Holy Spirit. His mission in heaven is love. He's been his love. And that's why I became more aware my, in, my, in, in, my, in my life. It is not enough to love someone. It is important to ask our God, say, Lord, it is according to your will or not. This is the vocation that I choose according to my own desire, according to my culture, according to my, my, my own mentality, according to my formation. But really, what is you will to me? And you know, I spent almost four, four, five years in this sermon until I got it, that clarity. And Jesus reminds us today, if you have a if you have time and spend time to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is going to guide you in your life. And that's why even St. Peter tells us to all of us that it is important to ask for the sermon. Because you know behind that the sermon, you have your happiness. And let me tell you this. After 30 years, almost 32 years as a missionary, I, I, I became more aware, say, that's the best choice that I did. The more I became more aware about my life, the more I became more conscious that this gift that the Lord gave me is the best. Why? Because He chose me. And this is my vocation. 
And let me sharing with you how the, 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 the disciples made the discernment to choose Matthias, the person who is going to take the place from Judas Iscariot. And according to this, Greetings from the Acts of the Apostles from St. Luke. He wrote this. Peter stood up in the midst and the brothers and sets. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was a number among us and was allowed it a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encamp encampment because desolated and men and may no one dwell in it and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompany us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, became with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas and who was also known as Justus and Matthias. Then they pray, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show with one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave last to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the 11 apostles. And this is important in the sermon. Prayer is a profound dialogue with open mind and open heart. That's why Teresa de Avila said, the true prayer is a speaking with freedom, a speaking from your body or your heart about your worries or your needs or your preoccupations or your plans to, the, to God. And then something happened here at the beginning of this book. Peter said, let us pray together to the Holy Spirit. And he, he, he said this beautiful prayer. You, Lord, know the hearts of all and show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in the apostolic ministry. And this is something important. And that's why I became more aware, say, Lord, I know that I have a lot of responsibility in life. And that's why it's so important that you pray for priests and for the Pope, for the Cardinals, the Arso Bishops, and the, even the religious people. You know why? Because we think it's an easy job, and it is not. Why? Because we work in from the hearts of the people, from the most precious and also dangerous environment and so dedicated. You working and I am working in order to help other people to grasp, to bring them back to heaven. And sometimes it's not easy. That's why we need to speak constantly to the Holy Spirit and to ask to guide us. And Concepcion said to all of us in this second message, we need to spend time on earth his mission consists in leading souls toward the, the health, the, this heart. On earth, the Holy Spirit consists in leading souls toward this heart of love, which is God. With Him, there is possessed all that can be desired. If there is a sadness, it is because recourse is not had to this divine consoler. To him who is perfect spiritual joy. If there is a weakness, it is because there is no real hands on him who is in, in, invisible might. If there is errors, 
it is because of this regard of him who is light. Why the disciples just try to speak about together? And first of all, Peter became and explained a good methodology. First of all, speak to the community. And second, invite the community. Third, say, let us pray together. Four, let us be open to the Holy Spirit. Fifth, please, this is the intention of our prayer, to ask to the Holy Spirit to guide us in order to choose which person God wants, the Father wants through Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is going to help us and enlighten us and strengthen us and choose us through specific emotions and insights, our hearts. He is going to give us the enlightenment. And this is beautiful. Why? Because the Peter want to avoid sadness. Second, he wants just from the Holy Spirit to bring us consolation, to help us to work in together in unity and community. And also, Peter also became weak and say, we are so weak and we need someone who is very strong and he knows us, each one of us, by our name is the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit incarnate Jesus, the Holy Spirit is the person who is going to teach us and to guide us and help us and enlighten us in order to choose always the best of the best. And what happened in this discernment according to Matthias and Joseph, the Justo, they choose according to God, the person. And I'm going to ask you this question. When you, before you get married, do you choose your husband according to God or according to your own desires? Because I have the experience, let me tell you this, I have the experience to have a special meetings in my mission in different communities that many people became sad and even they have a lot of problems and they make a lot of errors. Why? Because they choose his husband or her, or her wife according to the human flesh. And that's why they suffering too much. And they made the error just to make the discernment without asking the Holy Spirit. And, that, and, and many of them, they are suffering too much. Why? Because they, they didn't did, and they didn't invite the, the Holy Spirit in that discernment. And Conception reminds us today, in order to avoid some errors, some weakness, even some sadness and confusion and problems in the future, ask the Holy Spirit and He is going to help you. Why? Because the Holy Spirit read the hearts of all of us. Even Concepcion read or wrote this. Faith is extinguished through the absence of the Holy Spirit and His heart. And in the whole church, there is no render the Holy Spirit that which is due to Him. And this is important, brothers and sisters. Concepcion Cabrera reminds us this. He is loved. Love warmly, in bulk, without fervor, in many hearts, even among my own people, not even called to mine. All this deeply wounds my heart. And why God is telling us today through Math St. Matthias, it is important to grasp the knowledge from God. And who can bring us that knowledge? The Holy Spirit. In order to please God, in order to bring, to bring consolation. And let me tell you this. I know that some priests, that I already talked to a few of them in my, in my experience, and I already told them, you know, let me tell you the truth. The way you are made the discernment, it is not that way. Because you made the discernment according to your own human condition. But I think you need to think twice. And especially when I spent seven years working with the young people, they want to be a priest, they, they would like to have the intentions to serve God. And after a, a year of discernment, I invite them, say, let us make conscience about this. 
Are you became aware? Are you happy with the process? Are you ready to make these new decisions in your life? Or you are one you are you would like to continue to do the things and and live in your life according to your own desires? You need to make a, a new choices. And this is the discernment. This is the choices that you need to do. You need to leave your jobs. You need to go three months in silence. And this is the postulancy. And after these two months, you need to understand that really this is this vocation is for you or not. And even after just you pass the three months, you need to spend another two months in silence and prayer and meditation and contemplation and even to understand the religious life. And after just you make the first vows, you need to renew every year for seven or nine years depends on your process and every year you have to confirm your vows and this is beautiful God reminds us that it's a process but sometimes we don't want it that process and that's why I say I want to live with you and that's it and, and what happened later you have a lot of problems with a person why because you don't spend time as Peter and the 11 apostles and 120 people spend time in meditation, in contemplation, in silence, and prayer. And especially to ask the Holy Spirit to guide them and to help them to make the, the, new, the, the new decisions according to God's hearts. And this is something that we need to consider. Conception remind us this beautiful statement that can help us to be more aware and she said this Lord the Holy Spirit reigns in the church why do you complain and Jesus said up to her were it not so certainly the Holy Spirit is the soul of this of this so dearly loved church but that about which I am complaining is that there is such little consideration for this gift of heaven and to him there is no accord the importance to his devotion and hearts is routine and languishing and different secondary that's why I am sad and Jesus reminds us today that it is important to consider our vocations and he added this conception remind us this this brings about countless countless sorry countless evils not only in the church but in in all souls why jesus invite us to take conscience about our lives because jesus came to this world in order to remind us this the action of the Holy Spirit in souls and in the church. And this is the third exhortation in the message today. Jesus tells us this, the action of the Holy Spirit makes it felt first in souls, but also but also bring us new hope to all of us. And this is important to consider our vocation. Our Lord reminds us today this. He is the source of divine grace. The Holy Spirit never remains in, in, inactive day and night. He labors in souls who gives themselves to me. And these souls constantly advance in virtue but when souls resist or are indifferent and this is that's why our Lord tells us today he labors and souls who give themselves to me and these souls constantly advance in virtues but when souls resist or are indifferent then 
I withdraw, since my graces are of too great a price to be wasted of them. The work of the Holy Spirit and souls is most delicate, and the souls who despise it is quite ca capable if it does not respond to my inspirations to what I demand of it, I withdraw. There are some souls which is, is necessary to push along at each step, others which run and fly according to the measure of their correspondence with grace. They advance constantly, rising to the degree I had destined for them. Be vigilant. Hear, hear, hear my voice. You know quite well that for the hearing me it is necessary to keep your arrows open. A total renunciation of yourself in a constant spirit of sacrifice. Sacrifice itself for my church. The Lord said, this is to me over and over again. In different occasions, he made me understand the very close relationship with the unites the church with the cross. He told me the church was born on the cross. The Holy Spirit came later to confirm her teachings and to give her life. And we discovered that experience in Pentecost, how Jesus, after he rise and back to heaven, the Holy Spirit came. And thanks be to the Holy Spirit, the church became strong as well as faithful. The Holy Spirit has set in her his abode. He loves her passionately, and no one enters paradise save through her. The Spirit imprints his seal in all her ceremonies. Without the divine seal, nothing is done. No salvation is possible. Why Concepcion said to Leopoldo Ruiz y Flores, this Monsignor received the, this letter from Concepcion in June 23, 1904, in order to help the humanity. And God our Lord tell us something very profound every day. We need to be aware about this beautiful statement. I'm going to make the first conclusion. The Holy Spirit dwells in the way, in the deepest, the, levels of the souls. He remains with you and we will be within you. John 17, the whole Trinity dwells in us. Anyone who loves me will be true to my word and my Father will love him. We will come to him and make a dwelling place with him. In John 14, 23, all the baptized who possess grace are temples of the Holy Spirit, said 1 Corinthians 6, 19. And I am going just to make this conclusion in order to help you to bring us a very profound experience to all of us today. Our Lord tells us that we need to be more aware about this moment of thanksgiving. Why? Because according to the Lord, Jesus brings us new happiness, new blessings. That's why John Chrysostom said this, did not Peter them have the right to make the choice himself? And the, and the moment that we make a discernment, it is important to ask the Holy Spirit to make the, the best of the best but the best choice. Certainly, he had the right, but he did not want to give the appearance of showing a special favor to anyone. Besides, he was not yet endowed with the Spirit, and they nominated two. We read Joseph, who was called Barnabas, and surrounded Justus and Matthias. 
he himself did not dominate them. All present did, but it was he who brought the issues forward, pointing out that it was not his own idea, but had been suggested to him by a scriptural prophecy. So he was speaking not as a teacher, but as an in interpreter. So he goes on, we must choose from those men who lived in our community. And this is the second conclusion. Notice how insistent he is that they should be eyewitnesses, even though the Spirit will come to ratify the choice. Peter regards this prayer qualification as most important. Those who lived in our com company to continue the, pa the passage all through the time when the Lord Jesus came and went among us, he refers to those who had dwelt with Jesus, not just those who had been his disciples. For all, of course, from the very, very beginning, many had followed him. Notice how it is written that Peter himself was one of the two who had listened to John and followed Jesus. Although the time when the Lord Jesus came and went among us to continually further, beginning with the baptism of John, rightly so, because no one know, knew what had happened before the time, although they were to know of it later through the Spirit. Up to the day, Peter added, on which he was taken up from us, one of these must be made a witness along with us of his resurrection. That's one of the profound statements that we need to consider in life. Life is a gift, and this gift is in our hands. What can we do is to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. As Peter said, as to guide 120 people was had a meeting. They had like a council to gather and ask the Holy Spirit for that blessing. And the Holy Spirit disclosed himself and enlightened them. And they choose the new person, the new apostle, according to the Holy Spirit. And that's the third conclusion. Peter did not say a witness of the rest of his actions but only a witness of the resurrection. That witness will be more believable who could declare that he who ate and drank and was crucified also rose from the dead. He needed to be a witness not of the times before or after that event and not of these signs and wonders, but only of the resurrection itself. For the rest happened by general admission, openly, but the resurrection took place secretly and was known to these men only. A day play together, saying, You, Lord, know the hearts of men. May you choose known to us, you not we. Appropriately, they said that he knew the hearts of men, because the choice was to be made by him, not by others. John Chrysostomo reminds us the, the essence and the substance of our own discernment. We need, make, we need to make discernments in order just to avoid errors, weakness, confusion, sadness, problem, division, and even destruction in our lives and other lives. And who is the person who helps us? The Holy Spirit. And this is something important that we need to consider. And I am going just to make this resume from John Chrysostom. And he said, They spoke with such confidence because someone had to be appointed. They did not say, Choose, but make known to us. 
to chosen one, the one you choose. They said, full aware that everything was preordained by God. They then drew last, for they did not think themselves worthy to make the choice of their own accord, and therefore they wanted some signs for their instruction. The Acts of the Apostles, brothers and sisters, remind us that if we follow the specific methodology that we have there, we are going to be success. Because in the primary source that we have is the Holy Spirit, as the Father, as the, the Son. And even the Acts of the Apostles in chapter 1, to 24 to 25, we discover this Lord you know the hearts of all you show us the one who, whom you have chosen to assure this ministry and apostleship they cast lots and the choices fell upon Matthias and he was added to the eleven apostles the gospel and the readings invite us to pay attention about our lives may God bless you and bring you peace to you and let us just read this beautiful statement from the gospel today that is going to help us and i conclude with this jesus said to his disciples as the father loves me so i also love you remain in my love and you keep my commandments you will remain in my love just as i have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love i have told you this that my joy may, may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has a greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you and no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I had heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that wherever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. How can you love with the Holy Spirit? Jesus tells us that. And that's why the disciples choose Matthias according to the Holy Spirit. Because they have this mentality. How can we love each other? It's according to the Holy Spirit. According to God. The Father, the God, the Son, and the, God, the, God, the Holy Spirit. Let us give thanks to God and let us consecrate ourselves to the Holy Spirit with this prayer. O Holy Spirit, receive the perfect and complete consecration on my whole being and all my actions. Grant me the grace of being my light, my guide, my strength, and the love of my heart. I surround myself to you, and I ask of you the grace to be faithful to your inspirations. Holy Spirit, Transform me through Mary and with Mary into a true image of Christ Jesus for the glory of the Father and the salvation of the world. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, keeping your body and your soul with pure and guide you always in your life. Have a wonderful day and we are together in this beautiful December.